Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Yeelight app. So I'm over here on my Android phone, and I'm gonna download it from the Google Play Store. There we go, accept. And all I need to do is wait for it to download. Okay, so the app's already here. I'm gonna open it, Yeelight. And it says new user experience. Now you will need an account to use this app. So I'm gonna tap experience now. And let's see what happens. Now you can select your server based on your location. So I'm going to select this one, the recommended one. And then you have to agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy. Now log in. Okay, let's wait for it to load. If you have an existing Me account, you can use that to log in. But if you don't have one, then you can create one using this page. So we'll give it a moment. There we go. You can use your existing account or you can create an account down there. I already signed in using my Me account and now I'm in the app. So there are three pages at the bottom. We have scene, room, and device. To create a new room, you can tap this create room or using the plus on the top right. So we're gonna use the plus for now, just to demonstrate. And then select icon, so this is my bedroom. I'm gonna go with this. And you can name it, so let's name it bedroom. There we go, done. Select device, done. So there are no devices yet, okay. And we have bedroom. This won't do anything since there are no devices. And to add a device, go over here to the devices page. Then you can click here or here. And then add device. Now you can select your device. So I have the Yeelight Atmosphere Lamp. I'm assuming desk lamp or floor lamp. And it's over here. Okay, reset your device. For some strange reason, this Android phone doesn't recognize the lamps. So if I go over here to the phone settings, it shows both of these Yee lights, but in the Yee Light app, it doesn't show them at all. And I already reset the lamps and tried everything, but it just doesn't show up. So it's really strange, and I wanted to share that in case you're experiencing the same thing. Now for the rest of the video, I'm gonna be continuing on my iPhone instead. And the Android phone is pretty old, so that could be another reason. But here we go, add device. And now, you just see the devices on the top. Let's wait. Please work. After a few minutes of waiting, they finally appeared. So to connect to your device, you can tap them over here in the add device, or you can manually look for it over here and then click on your model. So it's over here. And then you can click add over here. So it's about the same thing. I'm gonna add both of them, or actually we have to do one at a time. There we go, next step. And it's gonna connect and wait for our authorization so you have to turn the light to accept the connection. Now this will vary depending on which Yee light you're trying to connect, which device. So let's just turn this. Okay. Or actually, actually yeah, that was the correct one. So there we go. I already connected to the lamp and we have this nice dashboard screen. Again, this will vary based on which device you have. But for these specific lamps, this is what the controls are. And if you tap on the top right over here, you'll have some settings. So we can rename it. I'm gonna do lamp number one or lamp number two. So the other one will be number one. There we go. Now I can also tap on these to control it. So pretty cool. The brightness over here. And you can quickly press this to turn it on or off. Their favorites over here. So you can save a specific state. For example, this brightness into a favorite. And then there's also timer over here. So timer, firmware update, favorites, and different brightness levels. I'm gonna turn it off and add the next one. So here we go again, device, plus, and then add device. Oops, add device. Now let's wait. It may take a while. Okay, let's just click here. So the app is pretty unreliable. You'll really need to be patient if you want to get your device to connect. So there we go. Connecting. Okay. So already have this. We're going to rename it into lamp number one. Okay. So I successfully connected both lamps. And I can press this button over here to turn one of them on. Same with the other one. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. What happens if I do this? Whoops. I try it again. Wow. So we can make some dancing lights if we want. <laughs> and manually control them. 
I might even try to synchronize this music. Anyway, so you can control one of them by clicking on them, and then you get more controls. Now you can also rotate the lamp, and both of them will have the same brightness. Pretty cool. But this will obviously vary on your Yeelight. So if you have a different type of lamp or light that doesn't have a control, then you'll really need to use the app. Okay? I'm gonna go to the room, and to add the lamps to your room, tap on room, I'm gonna tap on the bedroom that I made, then add device, then select. So we have this one and that one. That's it. Now, if I tap on bedroom, I can turn everything on and off, just like that with one tap. And I can also adjust the brightness of both of them. So very useful, take a look at this. There we go. Pretty cool. You can also create a scene over here. There we go. So you can have different templates and different lighting conditions. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion down below. And please like and subscribe for more. It helps support my channel. So, thanks for watching.